Hello. And who have I got with me today? Hi, I'm Max. Uh, I'm I'm from Manchester in the UK. I uh, I go to university, uh, doing a degree in biology. Um, I'm 19. And right. uh, ooh. so, for people that don't know, Manchester, where is this ex uh, about in England? So it's, it's in, in England. North in England part. Yeah. The north of England, the northwest. It's in the northwest of England, right, yeah. Manchester. Okay. Yeah. Now, Max, would you be so kind and to tell me what you can see in the picture? We'll start with the blue one in the corner. The top what left. What can you see here? Okay, so in the top left, that's someone on a computer playing a game. Right. Uh, I, I can't tell what game, but it looks like a, uh, a shooter, maybe. Right. Don't ask me. I have no idea about games. Mm -hmm. This is why you're here. And then in the second picture going down. So this is someone also playing a game, but on a different device. Uh, so with a television instead of a, a, com a computer uh, with a friend as well in that situation. Right. Then the one underneath. Uh, football. That's very easy. Then we're going into the other corner. We've got three girls. That's uh, shopping. Now, another way of saying this is just coming to my head, a shopping spree. So yes. these girls yeah. have got yeah. so many bags. It looks like they've been on a shopping spree, no? Spending lots of money. The one mm. here? Uh, the gym, going to the gym, working out. Working out, weightlifting, for example, maybe. And this one here in the middle? Skydiving or parachuting. Right. So we've got the, where is the instructor? Underneath or on top? So the, the instructor would be on top and then the other the person, person in tandem would be underneath. Right. And, and then the, the last picture we have parachute. here. Sorry? Uh, then the instructor has control over the parachute rather than the other person. Ah, right. You see, I don't know that. And the last picture where we have a group of people. Uh, hiking, maybe, or just walking in general. Yeah, hiking because we're in the mountains, maybe. Yeah. Right. So we've got a list of questions that I would like you to give your opinion about. Uh, mm -hmm. Which of all these activities would you think are most enjoyable? Oh, well, it, it does depend. I mean, um, I'd say the, the, the playing games with a friend would be enjoyable, but also playing football with friends would be enjoyable. Um, but if you had to choose one. I think it'd be playing games with a friend, the uh, the middle left, the console. Right. Uh, right. And what kind of game do you think you would be playing? Uh, well, recently I've been playing racing games, like uh, there's a, an F1 game, so I, something like that, a racing game. A racing game, is that with cars? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so the, the, the one Formula I'm playing at the moment. Formula 1, F1, was car, that with yeah. it? Formula 1 cars, Okay. Yeah. And have you got a favourite driver uh, when you're playing? Um, yes, at the moment it's Lando Norris, the, uh, the uh, Belgian fellow. Right, the, uh, so a Belgian F1 driver, that's your favourite at the moment. Now, yeah. the next one, which is the cheapest one to take part in? Um, it depends, because the hiking one could be the cheapest, but it depends on whether you have to travel to the place where you're hiking in a right. car or something like that. The football one, I'd say, is most likely to be cheapest because... Good, good way of explaining that. So yeah. hiking could be the same as football, cheap, but yeah. if we had to um, go there with some kind of transport, that would put yeah. the price up. And whereas you can just get a ball and kick it about anywhere, no? Exactly, right. and usually okay. you can borrow a ball from someone. Yes. And the, the healthiest? Okay, uh, the healthiest, I'd say, is um, it's between football and hiking again, because uh, weightlifting gym? sometimes. Hmm? What about the gym? I don't know. It is healthy, but sometimes it can be unhealthy in, in a mental way. Why? Because um, I, well, um, sometimes it forces people to go to the gym and makes them feel bad about themselves if they don't. Or like so addictive. Exactly. Yeah. So it, the, oh, the it can be an obsession. 
Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. Whereas hiking, you're in nature, you're with people, and you're doing exercise. So it's a whole... So here, you're comparing mental health yes. and physical health with hiking. Oh, cool. So you're mixing a lot of things with hiking, fresh air, socialising, mm. uh, with your eyes, you're looking at a, a breathtaking view maybe, right? I understand where you're coming from. Most relaxing. Um, I say that's probably the shopping because for you. No, not not necessarily for me, but for some people, they'd they'd find competition not relaxing. So the gaming wouldn't be relaxing to them. The football wouldn't be relaxing. Oh, because the people hiking, are competitive. Exactly. The hiking, it could be relaxing. It just, it depends on how intense the walking is. Because right. it looks like they're climbing up a quite a large mountain, which I wouldn't find relaxing. Right. So you think it could be shopping, but it's mm. a little difficult there because the other ones have all excitement in it. So you might not be relaxing. Which one is the least active? <laughs> Well, that's either the um, the gaming PC one or the gaming uh, TV one with the friend. Right, I'd the say, two ones um, with the... Uh, could you call them video games or you have to use another word? Yeah, you could call them video games. Right, because there's so many words that I'm not sure about. Yeah. Uh, which is the best one to do with your friends? Um... Well, the best one for me to do, the one I prefer to do, is the the video game on the middle left with a friend, because um, uh, like I I can keep in touch with people, things like that, uh, and it's quite fun. There's loads of things you can do, but if not that one, the football, because it's, right. it's really good. And then afterwards, there's a social aspect to it because you'll go and do something with them, like go for lunch or have a drink so or... it's not just one activity it could be including two activities no exactly. it ties things in together right uh and what do you think is the most popular among young people mm. i'd say it's the the gaming the console gaming the the middle left one on the the video games right okay so which one do you do the first picture or the second one the second picture. I, I don't have a good enough laptop to uh, play games on it. Right. OK. And do you talk to people who are far away or they're next to you? Um, usually they're within this country, but uh, I have one friend who's outside of this, uh, in America who plays on his Xbox occasionally on his mm -hmm. on his console, his, his game thing. <laughs> Sometimes I talk to my students about games and they all go, Miss? Oh, miss, you know nothing about uh, video. I said, no, I don't know. I've never played. I have no idea. So mm. that is true. Is there something you would like to do here uh, and you haven't done it yet? Definitely the skydiving. I, I've wanted to do it for years, but um, you're only allowed to do it after you're 18. Oh, right. OK. So yeah. there's a, a, an age limit. Yes, because you've got to sign a form saying that you're able to consent to do it and give up liability if anything bad happens to you. So you have to be 18 in order to sign that. Right. So you have to uh, consent to uh, be able to do that. Yeah. Well, Max, thanks for helping me out with these pictures no and some questions. It's been really a pleasure to talk to you.